Hi everyone. Welcome to Geeta's classes. Today we are going to see continuous random variable. The random variable is said to be continuous if it can take any all possible values between certain limits. That is, its values cannot be put in one to one correspondence between the set of positive integers. I have explained what is the difference between uh, discrete random variable and continuous random variable with examples. I hope you remember. Okay. So now we are going to define probability density function. We have defined in discrete random variable probability mass function. What is that? If you define p of x for x for every x, if you assign p of x, it is a function which should satisfy two conditions. One is p of x greater than or equal to zero and the summation i from 1 to n, p of x i should be equal to 1. That is the total probability should be equal to 1. Each value should be greater than or equal to 0 and the total probability should be equal to 1. Then we say that it is a probability mass function for this variable x. Here in continuous random variable, probability density function. There it is mass function, here it is density function. The probability density function for a continuous random variable x denoted by f of x is defined as uh, f of x should satisfy two conditions. One is greater than or equal to zero, same thing uh, as in uh, discrete. Here again, in discrete we have taken sigma, in continuous we are taking integration. So integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx should be equal to one. These two conditions you can compare. Here again, greater than or equal to 0, total probability is 1. Because it was discrete, we have taken sigma. Here again, greater than or equal to 0, it should be positive value and the total probability should be equal to 1. Uh, therefore, in, uh, because it is continuous, we are taking integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx equal to 1. And one more condition we are defining here, probability of E should be well, well defined. Why should it be well defined? Because we are finding the integration, the integration should exist, okay. For that, we are introducing one more condition, the probability what we are defining. Here, f of x is our probability. We are defining uh, yeah, probability as f of x here. Because it is continuous for our convenience, we are taking f of x. Instead of p, we are taking f of x. That is the only difference, okay. So, please remember, uh, for discrete, you have to take sigma and continuous you have to take integration that is the only difference uh, otherwise all the uh, formulas are going to be the same so now we are going to see cumulative distribution function cumulative means summation okay because it is in uh, discrete we have seen sigma and here summation means integration in continuous so p of x less than or equal to x is integral minus infinity to x f of x dx so if you want to find out 0 plus infinity here if you have a to b. So up to the point b if you want to find out the uh, cumulative distribution function then it will be minus infinity to b f of x dx. Up to which point you have to find out the cumulative distribution. Okay, That is what we are going to find out in this. Now properties, we have some properties for cumulative distribution function. It should satisfy, we know that it is a probability, so maximum it can take the value of 1, minimum it can be 0. So, f dash of x is uh, f of x, this is, because it is uh, continuous, we are defining this. f dash of x is d by dx, by definition, by uh, notation you know what is f dash of x, it is nothing but d by dx of f of x is equal to f of x, it can be rewritten as df is equal to f of x into dx and we know the minimum probability is 0 that is uncertain event, um, <clears throat> impossible event and maximum probability is 1 therefore here as it is continuous minus infinity is 0, prob uh, cumulative function of plus infinity is 1 that is a maximum summation can be equal to 1. If you want to find out as I have explained earlier 0 a minus infinity here b infinity. If you want to find out the probability from A to B, it is integral summation from this point to this point, right? So, integral A to B f of x dx. That can be written as up to the summation. That is, if you want to find out from A 
if you want to find out from a to b then up to b you can find out the summation and up to a you can find out and subtract this the total minus this area will give you up to a to b that is what it means okay that is f of b minus f of a so the mean of the continuous random variable is defined as mu is equal to e of x that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into f of x dx in discrete we have seen sigma x into p of x right the same thing instead of sigma you replace it by uh, integration and x p x here x into f of x the same thing if you want to find out e of x power r or x power k then integral minus infinity to plus infinity x power k into f of x dx because it is continuous similarly if it is defined from a to b the function is defined from a to b only then mu is equal to integral a to b x into f of x dx similarly variance we know that uh, variance is defined as e of x minus mu the whole square variance from the mean right x minus mu the whole square so whatever is here you have to write here integral minus infinity to plus infinity because we have x minus mu here i'm writing x minus mu the whole square into f of x dx uh, this can be rewritten as you can expand this as uh, we have done in the discrete it can be expanded like this also that is e of x squared minus e of x the whole square okay so integral minus infinity to plus infinity x squared into f of x dx minus this is nothing but e of x minus mu squared okay all these formulas you have to remember we can uh, do some problems in the next live class so that you will understand all these formulas easily thank you so much for listening thank you